This is a Nexus Special, Episode 5, When the Wind is Howling, on Friday, May 11th, 2012. This is a second quarter review with Ryan Rampersad and Matthew Petchel. Uh, so at this point, we have 25 episodes at the Nexus. Yeah, and um, so actually, the other shows on the network since our first one. Well, actually, the 25th episode is going to happen tomorrow, and the 24th happened last week. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have one nearly every week. I think we would have 27 this week if we were actually on time with the other ones, but, you know, 25 to 27, that's fair. That's yeah. fine. Not a big deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, news oscillates, of course, so some weeks we have nothing, some weeks we have tons. Yeah. Uh, and that, that, that'll always be true, but it's easy to fill in the gaps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I we heard, also have other shows. Yeah, I was getting to that. Um, we've, since if, quarter one, we there's some some uh, things happening. Yeah, what is it? The universe, I heard. Yeah, actually, the last time we did this, there were three episodes already of the universe. And do those count? Yeah, they really do count. Uh, but here's the sad thing: uh, when we did the show previously, we had twelve episodes mm-hmm. of our own show mm-hmm. of At the Nexus. Mm-hmm. We have twenty five now. You know, yeah. Presumably tomorrow we'll do one. Um, Eight. There's just eight of the, the universe, mm-hmm. uh, and so that's only five since February. So we don't get around to that show as much as yeah. we need to. Now, I do have to admit that the news for the universe is a little bit more sparse. But you can, I don't know, I, I, you could do a show with just the stuff that happened this week. Yeah, but see, um, that one of the problems is that there's not a lot happening. Except for there is. There's always science happening. Yeah, but I'm not involved in the fishing for news stories. But I am. I've been sending you links all week. Like, oh, cool. Here's some people have astronomers have observed that a black hole just gobbled down a star. Yeah, no, and I put that in. Did it happen? No. Yes, it did not happen. <gasps> uh, so that, that that happens a lot. So, so Sam you know how... Sam's um, note to me on this is that in the summer he'll have more time. Yes. Can, can I give you a piece of suggestion? Yeah, please. So I'm a network technician. Really? I have an IT stick. You need to get a podcaster stick. <laughs> when your co-host is misbehaving... You take your podcasting stick and you smack them. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah, make sure you add some nails or some spikes. You know, um... Or city putty. Get stuck in their hair. That's a good idea. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, so I, I, I think the interesting part of this is, of course, all our, our statistics. Oh, yes, um, yes. And, you know, we, we have various means of that. We have uh, page view statistics, download statistics, and we I just found out that we can actually do Facebook-like yeah. statistics. Yeah, and uh, also throw in some gestic persuasion and some other yeah. terms. So uh, we've actually been here apparently 180 days. 180 already? Yeah, uh, which would be since November 13th when we started. Mm-hmm. Uh, 180 days. Okay, never mind, never mind. I forgot. Because yeah. that uh, it should have been like no. Um, what did you say? November 13th, when we started. I don't know why I thought you should say February, but... Well, actually, because we, we did our quiet launch in January. That's when we launched the website, and we formulated all the formalities. Oh, because we were using your blog for a while. Right. Yeah. So that was only 130 days ago, so there's been 50 days of difference. Uh, that's not a big deal. So again, Athenexus has 25 episodes since launch. That's good. Uh, we've only missed two weeks, technically, uh, although some weeks were fake on that hand anyway. <laughs> Uh, and apparently you're having a problem with a Triscoll. I'm having problems with many Triscolls, and not um, a Triscuit. So all the stats that we're going to talk about here today are essentially based on the last 90 days. Hmm. So, the last quarter. Imagine that, right? Yeah. So there's been 264 unique views on uh, Athenex's pages, That's and okay. 344 overall views. The average time spent on the page is 4 minutes and 14 seconds. Uh, so that means somebody's actually listening to it. Uh, uh, no, but I mean, somebody's listening to it on the page, but I hope most people are downloading it in some fashion, either with the download button or syndicating it with a feed, because mm-hmm. if they're sitting on that page using that horrible HTML5 or Flash player, they need to get a life. Hmm. Also, I have uh, stats on what the most popular episodes were. Ooh, ooh. I remember I, last time was Windows of Jiggly. Well, I'm not going to be able to tell you what the episode names are, but I can tell you the numbers. So you get to find the names, I'll tell you the number. Okay, give me a second to go I'll, to I'll the give Nexus. you a second. And while you're getting that ready, I'll tell you how many downloads we've had in the last 90 days for Athenexus. Are you ready for this? Okay. 150. 150? Yeah. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, episode 18 is currently the most popular still. Whatever that is. What is it? What is episode okay. 18? Um, just so you know, in the next quarter, we will have a different design where you could actually go to an archive of all the things. 
Because you know you can do that right now, right? Except for I don't like how it's set up. What are you talking about? It works fine. Okay, okay. So, go to At The Nexus for me. You see At The Nexus number 24, right? Yep. Right at the top? Mm-hmm. And scroll down a little. You see how it's like yep. um, all these... No, now go to the archive. Click At The Nexus. Tell me, where'd the show numbers go? Oh, I took those away. <laughs> you took away the only way to archive them? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you hover over them and you see the link, you can find out what it is. Um, 18 would be Chop Off the Trackpad. Chop Off the Trackpad. Yeah. Uh, so that that was a good show. I don't remember anything about it, but it must have been good. Uh, well, let's read so, the abstract. So let's talk about the universe now. So again, there's only been eight episodes in mm-hmm. total. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we'll get a ninth this weekend. I get hope. a podcasting stick first. I hope. Smack some people around. So we periodically didn't record due to school and sleeping and other things. Beta weekends. And beta weekends and other things. Uh, For stats, there's been 105 unique views, 137 overall, 3 minutes and 3 seconds on average time. Episode 2 is still the most popular. Do you know what episode 2 was? I don't don't remember. Is that... Ooh, crap. Alright. Well, I... uh... Episode 2 is Competition We're Afraid Of. That was a good show, I, I must admit. Uh, in the last 90 days, there's been 70 downloads of the universe overall. Okay. That's not a lot, just so you know. So, together, our shows have had about, you know, 220 downloads, 250 downloads. Mm-hmm. That's not a lot of downloads in 90 days. Yeah, I suppose. But, but we're increasing. We're increasing. Uh, I think that we need to advertise more. I know you were arguing with me earlier about that. I don't know. I don't Even want like ever- the word pretend used. Yeah, see, we don't. And fake. Yeah, see, we shouldn't advertise ourselves as fake or pretend. That doesn't. But we're not. It's, nobody know, nobody knows what a podcast, like internet radio, is. You know, but we're, a, we're not internet radio. You no, know, but a lot of people who I was attention and uh, attempting to market to do know what podcasts are. They just never had a reason to listen to them. Mm. But what I was attempting on doing was getting people to listen that knew us as people, and then they would listen to our shows. Yeah. Uh, so that that's what I'm going for. Yeah. So you know our website URL is thenexus.com. Yeah, I have heard of that. Well, so it started typing in the, and then it went to autocomplete, and then it was supposed to go to thenexus.com, but it went to the.com, which it turns out is an ad oh. that I won. To, an iPad, to, to FedEx? a MacBook Air, and some other. No, the, all the free items are shipped by FedEx. Ah, very nice. So the most popular. Show, uh, the, actually, there is no overall most popular. It, it doesn't care. Um, but overall, we've had 200, or 926 unique views in the last 90 days. That's good. Uh, 1,200 yeah. views overall, which is really good. Uh, but to put that in perspective, I get that many views in a single day on my blog. So Quite the blogger. We need, we need to increase this network's visibility online. Now, I do mm. want to point out one thing. The FAQ that I put together that has, like, three three answered questions in it, which is essentially none, just so you know, well, it turns out that that's had 31 unique views and about 40 uh, regular views in the last 30 days because it's only been alive for two weeks. So that's good. We want people to actually know what we're doing and how mm-hmm. we're doing it. Yeah. Uh, most of the people who are listening are in Minnesota. Uh, imagine that. Imagine that. And then what's the next second popular? Seattle? No, actually, it's California. Mm. Uh, I don't know who's there. Well, see, those numbers aren't listening. Those are page view numbers. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, last time we had toxic iPad fumes as a uh, interesting search query. Mm-hmm. We don't have any interesting queries this time. So mm, I don't know. too bad. Yeah. Uh, S3, you know. Oh, yeah. Where, I, this was, these are what I want to hear. Where we host. Um, as for numbers, it's... You know, we're we're using uh, 1.2 gigs uh, for the storage right now, which mm-hmm. is essentially nothing. Yeah. Uh, we're also not using any bandwidth, because we've only had 250 downloads. Yeah, but that's a good thing. Um, and it's still free for us. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Uh, and if it wasn't free, you know how much you'd be paying? Two three cents. cents. Oh, I was going to say three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's fine. Now, for Facebook, we've had 67 total interactions so we've had 33 likes and 34 shares. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. Now, that's in the last 90 days. Now, I want you to keep this in mind. 
That means, now I don't know how Facebook entirely calculates this, but apparently there's been 54,000 impressions. What does that mean? Well, it turns out, now this is according to Facebook, this is the number of times stories appeared because of a like or share. What does that mean? So it either appeared in somebody's newsfeed, wall, or something else that Facebook can track, and it's apparently 54,000 people could have seen it at some time or another, due to something somewhere. Okay. Interesting. So, you want to know something? Because of those 54,000 impressions, you know how many referrals we got back to the website? Three. 97. 97. That's Not it. too bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so that that's it for our statistics, which are, you know, they're fine. Mm-hmm. We just need to increase them. Yeah. Uh, this month, we've actually launched uh, two things that can help with our feedback. Mm-hmm. First being the feedback form. Mm. It's a nice little thing that you can, you know, put your name in, put your email address in, and put uh, which show you want to send feedback to, and then it goes to me, and then I forward it to whoever it needs to go to. Since there are only two people it needs to go to, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then uh, you can send me feedback and send host feedback. So that's really nice. That's on the website, the Nexus TV. Wait, what? I always mess that up because it's not okay. I hate that dash. Just so you know. I like the dash. Um, we also have the Twitter account set up now. Yes. And uh, that that is at the Nexus TV. There's no dashes. There's no nonsense. It just is working. It just works well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so that's really great. And I heard you started using it again. You know, I, ha- I never actually started. This is the first time I'm using it. Oh, remember we had, like, when we were building the studio, like, there's a few tweets about paint yeah, and Yeah, I do things. remember that. I never started Okay, we're just, we're just yeah. even though there's history there, yeah, we're just... I, I'm just erasing it. Just erasing that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this uh, brings us to the other things, uh, which would be the next step section. Next, well, yes, the next step. Which is kind of an allusion to a certain operating system that I heard of once. Mm. Do you want to go over the next step section? Well, that depends. Why? Well, I just thought I yeah, should give you yeah. something to say. Uh, this is your statistics. I don't do numbers. I already did or all, all the statistics. It's the next step section. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Lawyer Man has changed forms. He is now Steps Man. And Steps Man says that we need to get a logo. Yeah, so we're, we're desperately looking for the logo. Uh, so, if you look at the Twitter feed right now, you'll actually see a nice logo. I mean, I like it. Yeah. I mean, it's not it's bad. Okay. It's not bad. Considering that it was free and I made it in like twenty minutes, it's pretty good. Um, and it's reproducible because it's a vector. Nice. Uh, yeah. Here's the problem: it's not very nice. It's not mm-hmm. perfect. It's not great. Yeah, doesn't have that. This is not distinguishable and awesome. Well, like everybody should know. So, it. well, no. See, the thing is, I don't feel like I'd steal it if I saw it. Like that's how I can tell if a logo's good. Okay, I see. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If I want to steal it from somebody, I know that it must be really great. Indeed. Uh, so we need the logo. We're, as you mentioned earlier, we're going to redesign the website to actually work. This just a few little parts things. In it. Okay. Well, we're actually going to be doing that soon. I'm actually be- beginning that this weekend. Yeah. Uh, so we can expect the relaunch mid mid summer, late mm-hmm. summer, yeah. early fall. Sounds good. It's coming soon. It will be. It will look probably pretty close to what it is now, but just with better features. Mm-hmm. Um, the next thing we want to talk about here is sounding better. So I've I've looked through all the podcasts that I listen to regularly, and they they all record at fifty kilobits per second at a constant bit rate, which is what everybody does. So that means it's due to one of two things: either the mics or my 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 editing skills. Mm. You know what I believe it is? Board. The board. Yeah. So, before we started the show, we we had a little board trouble. Do you want do you want to say, say what that was? Because I don't really know how to describe it. Okay. So, what we have are we ha- we have a headphone splitter, and well, we have a headphone amp. It's not a splitter. It's an amp. It's an amp, but the same sound that comes out of the board is supposed to come to everybody. Right. And apparently, I wasn't getting any sound. So Ryan went to a single channel, completely 
that has nothing to do with our little amp, starts twisting knobs, and all of a sudden things start working. And then we look at the soundboard, like, we start laughing because we thought it was funny, and all of a sudden we get some ridiculous waves. Yeah. Apparently our, we're much better at talking to our left than our right. Because yeah. when we view in the channels, our left channel is pretty strong. So we've, we've always noticed this, I guess, that mm-hmm. our left channel has been slightly stronger. And even the board says this to be true because the, LEDs, yeah. the LED indicator says that it's true. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, this isn't you know, perfect board. It's uh, kind of an inherited donation board. So uh, We're not belittling at all. Uh, we really thank the person who donated I mean, it. it's a great board, but there, there is some, some haunting going on over there. Yeah, so we're all we're we're working on trying to sound better because I I listen to this podcast, all of our shows multiple times in a week because mm-hmm. I have apparently nothing to do, and it doesn't sound great all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's bad. So this brings us to the next part. What is the next part? I don't know. Do you want to read what the next part is? This goes to the guests. Do you wanna wanna talk about that or do you want me to talk about that? I want to talk about next steps for a second. Okay. Uh, I know I don't participate in your show notes because I don't have the permissions to write in it. Okay. I do have the permissions to write in it, but if I write into it, I get persecuted for saying something stupid. And so I'm just going to go rogue on air because, I mean, what's the likelihood of saying something that sounds even worse if I just completely tell somebody I'm not doing anything and then just end up doing it? Turns out, <laughs> turns out, um, that uh, every time we, we're trying to start another show and we're looking for guests, and it's part of the next step, has nothing to do with your guest things. Okay. We need a camera crew, desperately. Uh, do you want to? So, if you want to be a camera crew, contact you know, actually, me at um one six. Okay, so type in a one on your cell phone, and then go to six one seven three eight 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 three four four. Give me a call. Tell me you want to be a camera operator, and uh, we'll go get you squared. It'll be all okay. Okay, so back to the back to the guest section here. Talk about guests. So. What I would like to do as a trial run for new shows is to have people as you know once a week or, or something. I mean, I don't know. We would work it out. But once a week, what I would like to do is to have somebody different each time, preferably, mm-hmm. is come in, just be a guest, on, and they can just talk about whatever they want about news, technology, yeah, blah blah blah, mm-hmm. something they're interested in, preferably. But technology mm-hmm. is a good fallback since I like that. Yeah, uh, and it would be just a twenty thirty minute thing, simple, easy. Just like talking to me normally, and then every week I would just post another one throughout the summer, and that would be a nice way to get new viewers because then get, that person will tell them. right get new viewers, but also to give them a trial run as to what it feels like to be on a podcast. Yeah, because I don't want people asking to start a show and then not having a clue like what that means. Yeah, so we need to get some big time people to join to be a guest first. I don't, I don't need necessarily big time people. I just need people. Well. If we get Neil deGrasse Tyson to come on here for 20 minutes, well, no, we'll have see, the whole world listening to us. Yeah, that's true. Uh, maybe. Uh, at least Sam will. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sam will buy a t-shirt for that episode. Yes. Uh, also, I'd like to start new shows here in the summer. Uh, yeah. And, again, pre- preferably topics that people are interested in. Uh, I, I see in the show notes, because I'm actually reading them, you don't want any of my ideas to actually go through. Because you attacked me, specifically saying... Cheap. Essentially, no materials. Well, so here's the thing. I can't do a show that I have to pay for. See, I don't have to pay for anything, because it's here already, right? Yes. And when somebody calls in on Skype, I don't have to pay for it. Mm-hmm. Um, now, if there's something, if they need, like, a mic, or if they need, like, I don't know, something It's a else, one-time cost. You know, it's a one-time cost. I can live with that, because it makes the show better. Mm-hmm. But recurring material costs, I can't cover that. Uh, I can't cover video. I don't have the necessary hosting or the expertise to do video. I don't have any way to edit video. I can't do video. Maybe you can do video with your show that yes. that, uh, that we're going to talk about here in a minute, but I can't do it as part of the Nexus right now. Um, Actually, I did put it in the show notes. I mean, if I only read these things before we started. Because it is right there. Just saying. Okay. Um, so one of the things that we're going for is that we can do discussion-based shows where you just – Call me, and then we talk, and then I post it as a podcast. That's literally what it is. And then we discuss whatever you want to talk about. Mm-hmm. That's really what it is. Have you have you, have you you ever listened to one of our shows? Because that's yeah. what, exactly what we do. Mm-hmm. We discuss things. Yeah. It's cheap. No materials. Just, we have them all right here. You got a laptop. You can do it. Timely. We either have news that can last forever, or we have content that can just 
whether in a week. It doesn't matter. You, we can do it. Yeah. So, like, Sam's show, science is usually pretty pretty untimely. It can be whenever. Mm-hmm. You know, some asteroid hit Earth. Well, we either know about it this week or we know about it 20 days from now. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, our news on our show, At The Nexus, a little bit more timely because we had to cover it. Otherwise, it gets old pretty quick. Yeah, it some, really does. Something else happens. Because, you know, what we should do is we should do a podcast whenever something happens. Because, you know, AMD can't get their story straight. It takes <laughs> them three weeks to get their story straight. Yeah. And so, like, I remember twice now we've covered a story week by week having to go back and recorrect things because nobody knows what they're talking about at well, like, the PR uh, department at AMD. For, for another example, even the Oracle and Google case, uh-huh. it has changed four times this week. It's, yeah, because I think last week we had to break it down. Like, so this happened Monday. Right. This happened Tuesday. This happened Wednesday, which made Monday irrelevant. Right. But we reported anyway. And of course, finally, discussion shows are easy. Yeah. Uh, doing a video show, a demo show, doing a show that isn't just talking makes things a lot more complicated, <laughs> especially when you'd have to script something because writing scripts is just very difficult. Mm-hmm. But uh, speaking of doing shows that uh, we don't do yet. I think you have one. Yes. Uh, Kevin alluded to this a few times already, because I'm looking for a camera crew. Um, we have our discussion show. I do like discussions, but I much prefer demonstrations and do-it-yourself videos. So, are you familiar with the show Mythbusters? Yep. And they say, don't try this at home? Absolutely. Well, I'm going to say those exact same words, except for with my cooler hat, and then Jeremy's beret. And you're going to do it like... Right outside of your house. <laughs> no, it's going to be at the park. All all filming is going to be at the park. Okay. And I want to demonstrate how fireworks do indeed go off underwater. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, we can't we can't talk about that on air. Um, but basically, we'd be building stuff and blowing stuff up, and um, just every week I want something to explode or burn. Also. Um, it's also going to be like a tutorial on how to do stuff because I know um, I'm really excited about getting into um, Arduino development because I've been waiting to postpone that and I finished school today um, and I was waiting for the last day of school. I know I should have already got that. That way I could have just seamlessly started working on that because I, I didn't want distractions right. in my learning environment. But now that I'm not going back to school ever again, mm-hmm. it's fine. It's perfect. Right. I'll go straight to development. Mm-hmm. And... Um, so basically, what, right now, we have it divided a, up into a few segments. Like, it's going to be a bi-weekly thing. Which, which means, means what? Every other week. Not twice a week, but every other week. Because, you know, that is an extremely ambiguous term. What should I say? Bi-monthly? No, that's even worse. That sounds like the universe, then. <laughs> okay, either way. Um, basically, in that show, um, the more people we have, the better. I want Absolutely. this to be a team thing. Um, well, but so, one of the problems with having a show like that is how do you do how do you do audio? We do audio by setting up a couple mics and recording them. Like on, on most some cameras, on the cameras I'm gonna buy, um, they'll have a little. It's how do I? It's like four gold pins, and you plug in one of these wind um, a condenser mic and some other stuff, right. and it works much better. Mm-hmm. But the one thing I can't stand about videos on YouTube is when you hear the wind blowing oh, through the microphone. Yeah, that, that I can handle low audio. I can handle high audio. I can handle annoying voices. I can handle shaky cameras. But when the wind is just howling through your microphone, I, just, I, I, I can't listen to that. Um, but but uh, even over filming outside, that is going to be a problem for us. Um, mm-hmm. And plus, children running around in the park trying to get in front of us while we're blowing stuff up. Right, uh, of course. Oh, potential lawsuit. <laughs> okay. No, and remember, just... <laughs> my name is John Syracuse, not Matthew. Don't sue Matthew. Sue him. And don't ever call that number I listed earlier. No, no, you should definitely call it because I don't know what it goes to, but it's going to be amazing. It is going to be amazing when somebody calls them and asks, I want to be on the camera crew. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm legitimately looking for a camera crew, so I shouldn't steer you wrong. Email me at matt at nexuslabs.com. And by dot com, I mean dot org. <laughs> thought there was a dash. Nexus-labs.org. You didn't say that, though. See, I always mess it up, too, because it's not okay. <laughs> yes. Um, join us. We'll have an adventure. And there are many perks to being a member of Nexus Labs. I'm looking, We're doing lab enrollment right now. So do you want to just describe what Nexus Labs is? Nexus Labs is a term I made up to describe my organization of insanity. And by that, I mean but, research you know, and scientific is, progress. I just want you to know that is a very apt description. Uh, no. Um, we 
at Nexus Labs have a passion for science with documentation, but never publish documentation. Like, we blow up the documentation. Um, everything burns with the project. We start a project, we discuss the project, so we build like, the project, so and then the project melts. So your documentation's like the Python 3.2 docs. Yes, it is indeed the Python 3.2 docs. I mean, what... Those, did that exist? No, it doesn't. Okay, we're going to link to it, and we're going to pretend it links, and then so we're going to have the link to 3.2 docs, which is actually going to say right below it, this is actually for 2.7. But, who cares? It won't work. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't like Python. Actually, I did do a fun program this week with Python. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Yeah. So, this is um, it's kind of our plan for right now. Uh, hopefully, it'll work. So, get involved with the Nexus. Yeah, we we need uh we need people to either be a guest, try to do a show, uh, or be a camera Join crew. Join the lab. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, you can always just not do a show, and then you could just I don't know post our shows on your Facebook feed thing, on mm-hmm. your Twitter. You could leave comments, leave feedback. That's always good. Mm-hmm. We like feedback. We like feedback that isn't like we like nice job and other things. But we like when, questions. Yes. We, we like refinements or questions. Because we are a discussion-based Because what we want to do is we want to be able to discuss your feedback. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, because without the discussion, it's kind of boring. And one of the things that our feedback would allow us to do is it would allow us to do less news and more feedback. And hopefully in the big picture, it will help us make us sound better. Like if we know what people don't like, we can adjust the show slightly and then comment about how stupid the person is. It was an idea for their ideas to be I mean, published. I mean, unless you don't like something that I like, I mean... <laughs> Sounds kind of jobsy. Yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, if I like it, I'm going to cover it, whether you like it or not. Okay, yeah. I but mean, We if, can uh, change how our format of our show is a little... Um, we can... Do we even have a format? Well, crap I did in the week, crap you did in the week, a couple shows, long discussions about something that happened, and then real short, quick stories because we're running out of time. Yeah, and then the real quick short stories end up being the same as everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that covers it then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so one last thing, of course, you can find me, Ryan Rappersett, just about anywhere, especially on the Nexus. Mm-hmm. And, of course, Twitter, Ryan MR. You can follow the Nexus at What's, the Nexus TV it, it? on Twitter. Yeah, that's where you can do it. Uh, you can uh, leave feedback for the Nexus. You can leave feedback on this short little update mm-hmm. by going to the dash nexus.tv slash feedback that's mm-hmm. that's pretty important that dash and where can we find you you can find me at matthewpetchell.com you can also find me anything related to the nexus because you always link back to me yep and um yeah I think that's about it okay and remember if it was a problem it wasn't a travesty have a good one